What is going on, people? LP2000, my back at you with another X Plus Fig review. And yes, today, on behalf of Summit Kaiju, welcome back once again to Leslie Chambers Kaiju Reviews. And today, I'm doing the X Plus 30 centimeter Rip Boy edition of Hedra. Yes, our favorite Japan terrorizing sulfuric acid spewing smog monster from the classic cult film 1971's. Godzilla vs. Hedra or Godzilla vs. Smog versus the Smog Monster. And as you can see, I got the wonderful figure here. Yes, it's wonderful. Yes, it is. Let's just get that out of the way right now. It's an awesome figure. Yes, 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 yes. Once again, Andy Peters, Eric Arrington. We love Hedra. Don't we love Hedra? Yes, we do. So let, you know how we do things right here. Let's get into the box before we get into the figure. Let's put Hedra down here. And that's pretty much it. Um... Hedra, it's a rip board. It, it, that's it. You know what I mean? It's just a plain box with his name Hedra, 1971. God's Lips is Hedra, the Japanese language title of the film. And this is the rip board edition. This was a rip board exclusive. It wasn't available at Ami Ami or Hyper Search. You had to get through the rip board site. That's pretty much it. Leave the jargon on the back. It's just a plain box and it's gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yes, let's get into the figure. Yes, 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 yes. This is such an amazing figure. Um, just a small backstory about this figure. Um, Hedra was originally released um, in 2011. The Rip Boy edition for that figure was an eye patch and a small mini miniature version of the flying Hedra. You know what I mean? Then it came out two years later, 2013. With this awesome rip board with light up eyes and his and his head, his cracks in his head lights up red, which you'll see in a couple of seconds. Um, then they reissued Hedra again through Diamond in 2014. So yeah, Hedra has seen his share of um, reissues. And as far as I'm concerned, this is like the best reissue of this figure. And honestly, this is the one figure that kind of got away from me. You know what I mean? Um, because I got started on the X Plus collecting trail a little bit late. And um, at the time, I was still getting used to how to collect these figures. What should I do to get these figures? The best prices, blah, 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 blah. And this one kind of got away from me, you know what I mean? And I was able to finally get one. Thank you, Matt Roach. I really do appreciate it, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, this was one figure, at least one Ripboard figure that kind of got away from me. So I feel really, really good knowing that I was able to track one down and get one for a good price. Okay, ever since 2013, this guy has been horrendously overpriced. Thanks to those eBay rapists out there, you know what I mean? I've seen this guy go for five, six, seven hundred dollars. You know what I mean? And I won't say it's, it's worth that much, but still, it's a great, 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 great figure with great, great light up features. You know what I mean? Um, I won't go into a lot of detail as far as like sculpt and paint job or anything like that because I've done a figure review of the um, of the original 30 centimeter Hedra. Um, it's in the archives of the channel. Please check it out. So I won't really echo a lot of the same stuff um, that you'll see in that video. I just basically would just, just summarize it, you know what I mean? Um, um, just summarize my thoughts of the, uh, of the of this figure in comparison to the uh, to the original head. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, you'll see that in, uh, in, in comparison in the next segment, you know what I mean? Um, but yes, I really do love this figure. You know, I once again, I'm glad I was able to track it down. I, I, I was glad. I'm glad that I was able to finally get my hands on it. This is the one figure that, at least one of the few figures that have gotten away from me. And I was like, you know what? If I ever get a chance to own one and get a chance to get one, I'm not going to miss out on the opportunity. And thank you to Matt Roach. He presented me, presented me with that opportunity, and here he is. You know what I mean? So, once again, thank you, Matt Roach. I really do appreciate it. Eric Anderson, Andy Peters, we got to love Hedra, right? You know what I'm talking about. All right, so you know we do things right here. Let's get up close and personal, and let's start with the size comparison between the Rip Boy version of Hedra and his 30 centimeter original counterpart. All right, let's go. Okay, folks, I'm back, and let's start with the size comparison, or just comparison in general. And on the left, this is the original 30 centimeter Hedra, and of course, this is the Rip Boy. And as you can see, they look exactly the same. You know what I mean? Paint job is awesome on both. You know what I mean? Um, they did a great job of replicating the paint job on the Rip, on the Rip Boy um, from the original. Um, I would say that the Rip Boy does have a little bit more of a dynamic um, paint paint job. You know what I mean? But sculpt wise, they're both virtually the same. They really are. They're, they're, they're virtually the same. Um, the just a just the final fourth form of Hedra. You know what I mean? Like I said, I don't. I'm not gonna go. Much in the detail about it because, like I said, it's on the uh, 
It's on it, it's on my video on the uh, 30 centimeter um, excuse me 30 centimeter Hedra and the 25 centimeter Gazo 1971. I did that a double review of that like a while ago. It's in the archives of the channel. Please check it out. So like I said, I won't go to a lot of detail about it. Basically, these images speak for itself. You know what I mean? And they really did a great job of capturing um, the suit of the final form of Hedra in these sculpts. You know what I mean? Um, especially like here on the, as you can see right here, the yellow underneath his arms, whatever. The same thing here it applies here to the rip board. You know what I mean? Um, once again, just a great representation of Hedra. And in my previous um, figure review, I did a 25 centimeter rip board Hedra. Awesome figure. Please get that. And please check out the video when you, when you get a chance. I said in that video, and I still stand by it, that that version of Hedra is probably, that figure of Hedra is probably the most accurate version of Hedra. You know, because they went a little bit step farther, further with their um, paint job of the figure. The sculpt was a little bit better. But still, you should not sell the 30 centimeter short. You know what I mean? This really is, a, it really is an awesome representation of Hedra. Um, one of my most favorite kaiju. I know it's a favorite kaiju of Andy Peters. <laughs> yeah, man. His Hedra collection is sick. Um, but I'm glad with the Hedras that, that I do have. And once again, I'm so so ecstatic that I finally get my got my hands on this um, Rip Boy Hedra. You know what I mean? Um, but yes, both are identical. Both paint jobs are superb. Both sculpts are fantastic. And let's activate the Rip Boy feature of this Hedra. Of course, you, you've seen it in the intro of this video, but you know what? Seeing it again ain't gonna hurt nobody. Um, so let me just bring the lights down low. Not trying to make it romantic. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look at that. That is awesome. Yes, hold on, bring it down some more. There you go. See, see how that pops out? That's awesome. Like I said, the cracks in his head, as you can see the cracks, you know, just like how it was in the film. You know, once again, one of the best light-ups Xbox has ever done. Maybe I'm biased because I do love Hedra that way. You know what I mean? Um, so, yes, this is it's pretty much simple. It's really, really simple. And once again, I just wish that they could have made this release more accessible to a lot of fans that could have got this figure versus being a Rip Boy exclusive. You know, but also with it being a Rip Boy exclusive, sometimes you have to go a little bit extra or go the extra mile just to get these figures. And... This figure is well worth the you going making the extra effort to get one. You know what I mean? Now, like I said, it's horrendously overpriced on eBay right now. But who's to say? S Plus could reissue this at some point. You know, they're not beyond reissuing old figures over and over and over again. You know what I mean? So be on the lookout for a reissue of this hopefully soon. You know, or sometime in the future. S Plus it's not slowing down with their figure releases. Trust me on that. So. I think the chances of us of seeing a reissue with this is, I say, pretty fair. I won't say it's impossible, but I say it's pretty fair. And if you do get a chance to get one, please do. You will not be not be disappointed, especially if you're a fan of Hedra and you're especially a fan of Hedra's light-up features right here. All right, so let's go with one more size comparison, and we'll wrap this review up. All right, let's go. Okay, folks, I'm back with the last size comparison. Of course, I had to put it with his co-star from the great film. Of course, we know him better as the King of the Monsters himself, Godzilla. Duh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yes, they look great together. What you see here is the 30 centimeter 1968 Godzilla, you know, and he looks really good in comparison to Hedra. You know what I mean? Um, I think it's in perfect scale. You know what I mean? I know I said a while ago that 25 centimeter 71 um, is in scale with this Hedra, and I and I amended that I amended that in my last video or my least Hedra video that if Hedra would have kept on growing, which is probably what would have happened if Godzilla were not able to stop him, then yeah, those two figures would have been accurate. But um, considering how you know how the final battle was and Godzilla were, were, was able to stop Hedra, this is like the perfect perfect representation and perfect scaling between the two. You know what I mean? And of course, this is the 68 Godzilla, but still, it's still it's still the same suit from 71. It was It's modified in certain areas, but still the effect is there. I know some people are OCD or whatever, and hopefully they will make a 30 centimeter Godzilla 1971, but until that happens, the 68 will do just fine. 
All right, so that's pretty much it for the size comparison. I'm gonna breeze through this, through, breeze through the size comparisons. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it's awesome. You know, it's really awesome. Just the size comparison, comparison between the first 30 centimeter Hedra and this 30 centimeter Godzilla. Yes, awesome. You can't go wrong with it. You know what I mean? All right, so let's back this review up. Thank you so much for hanging in with me. All right, let's go. Okay, folks, let's talk about Godzilla versus the Smog Monster or Godzilla versus Hedra. And in addition to Andy Peters and Aaron Arrington, let me honor two more special people, people if, if I could, please. Um, Yoshimitsu Bano, um, the director of Godzilla vs. Hedra. Um, unfortunately, he passed away uh, on May 7th, 2017. And of course, I want to honor Haru Nakajima, who played Godzilla in this film, as well as other great Godzilla films. He passed away just a few days ago on August 7th, 2017. Wow, that, um, that's something. Um, they're three months apart. Uh, Mr. Bono died on May 7th. And Miss Nakajima died just now on August 7th, three months apart. Wow. Rest in peace to you fine gentlemen. Um, so let's talk about Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster. I make no bones about the fact that this film for me is the, probably the most underrated Godzilla film ever. You know what I mean? I understand that it has some issues. I understand that it has some eccentric qualities to it. You know what I mean? But still, all in all... This is and this is a solid, entertaining Godzilla film. You know what I mean? And I think Mr. Bono did a great job with his direction, with his vision of the film. You know what I mean? This film is very, very noteworthy, you know? Um, it's the first film up until that point, you know, that didn't reuse an old monster or reuse any stock footage or anything like that. You know what I mean? Um, this is the first film uh, that, that, that kick-started the awesome, awesome, fun 70s films of Godzilla which I contend is probably um, just just the most fun and probably one of the best eras of Godzilla films ever in the 70s. You know, Godzilla Flies. We can't forget about that one. You know what I mean? The uh, the acting debut or soup acting debut of Ken Pachira Satsuma, who um, who uh, played Hedra in the film, who would go on to play Guy again in 72 and 73, and who also who, who, who also will become Godzilla in the Heisei era. You know what I mean? Also, this, this is the first film since King Kong vs. Godzilla, or Godzilla Rays again, where only two monsters carried the whole film, you know? Because up until that point, we had like maybe three, four, five, just a melee of monsters in one film. But in this film, only Godzilla and Hedra are only two monsters in the film. You know, of course, Hedra went through an evolution stage where he was different forms or whatever. But still, only two monsters carried this film. Um, so this is a very, very noteworthy film, you know what I mean? And, and I'm happy with what Mr. Bono did with his direction. And, and apparently so so was he, because at the time after this was released, he had planned to do a sequel to Godzilla vs. Hedra, where Godzilla would face off against another um, form of Hedra in Africa. Unfortunately, to, <laughs> the, the, the producer of these films, uh, Tomoyuki, um, Tomoyuki Tanaka, um, saw um, the film after the fact, because he was kind of ill during the, during the production of the film, so he couldn't really monitor what was really going on or what they were doing during the course of the production. So when he saw the final final cut, he was like, no, uh-uh. And after that point, he blocked Mr. Bono from ever making another Godzilla film. In fact, I, I read reports saying that he felt that he ruined Godzilla. Um, and although I respect Mr. Tanaka's uh, opinion, I don't really see it that way. I think this film is really, 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 really good. You know what I mean? Of course, like I said, it has its problems, but not enough to take away from the overall entertaining value of the film, you know, and through his direction, he just created a great, great story. And that's one of the things that this that's one of the crucial things that I look for when it comes to Godzilla films. You know, of course, not every Godzilla film is going to cater to every Godzilla fan's needs. I get that, you know what I mean? But with this film, the one thing, the, the, the things that I look for, um, does it have a great story, great special effects, great music, um, great amount of screen time for the monsters? Does it also deliver a message? You know what I mean? Are the kaiju battles really, really good? And Godzilla vs. Smog Monster, no matter how you look at it, it sees really, really well in all those different aspects. You know what I mean? And also, one thing I love about this film is about the fact it's just Hedra. Hedra just awesome. The way Mr. Bono really positioned Hedra as this dangerous, threatening kaiju 
that you never know what you're going to get. You never know when it's going to show up. You never know what other powers he may um, come at you. You know what I mean? And the interaction between him and Godzilla is also very, very good, especially like with the first scene or at least the first time when Hedrick comes on land and he's like smoking up um, smoke from that pagoda factory. And then he's like closing his eyes because it feels good to him for him inhaling all of that uh, pollution. And then Godzilla comes in and Hedrick stops and looks at him and is like, what is this dude? Who is this dude? You know what I mean? And it's like, then Godzilla fights him. And then Godzilla's kind of bewildered, bewildered because when he blows his fire on him, Godzilla, like, a couple of times puts his hands over his mouth and, like, in shock to my, wait a minute, why are you not dead? Why are you not burnt to a crisp? You know what I mean? It's just that little little things like that just made this film just just that incre more incredible to me. You know what I mean? Um, it's just it's just an amazing film all, all the way around. I can go all day and talk about Godzilla vs. Mod Monster. Um, but one, on one more thing I want to bring up before I close um, of course, everybody knows that Godzilla Final Wars, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a comparison between Godzilla Final Wars and this film, you know what I mean? And I make no bones about it, Final Wars is not really in my top 10 of favorite Godzilla films. I don't hate the film, let, let, let's get that out of the way right now, I don't hate the film, I just feel some of the execution was off with that film, you know what I mean? But the one thing about Final Wars that I felt really just was a letdown was the fact that they included so many different things into one Godzilla film, or just in one film in general. You have kaiju, aliens, you have mutants, you have superpowers, you have um, superheroes, excuse me, you have like Power Ranger type stuff. You have all these different things just combined into one film. But the key is you have to make them gel well. If they don't gel, then the story's not fluid and the experience of, the, of watching the movie is not going to be really that good. That's where I think Final Wars is a letdown. But Godzilla vs. Versus, versus the Smog Monster, it's seasoned that. You know what I mean? Because it has a little bit of horror, comedy, drama. It has a great kaiju battle. It also presents an, an, an important message about, about trying to protect the environment, which can pertain to real-life situations today. And all those different things weaved in, and they all gel, gel well with each other and created this great Godzilla film. So the thing is, it can be possible. You can take different things from here, there, wherever you want to call it, and put them all together and blend them well to make a really solid and fluid film or project. And unfortunately, like I said, Final Wars doesn't do a, do a good job of that, but Godzilla vs. Smog Monster does an incredible job of that. It's just my opinion, folks. It's just my opinion. So, I know, like I said, it has its issues, it does have its issues, but just look at the big picture from what it is, you know, and take all that weird stuff out of the equation. But if you're looking for a solid, entertaining, fluid Godzilla film from beginning to end, look no further than Godzilla vs. Smog Monster or Godzilla vs. Hedger. So that's pretty much it with my thoughts on Godzilla vs. Smog Monster. Trust me, I'm sure I will talk about that film somewhere down the, down the line. Um, but now you understand why I love the film so much, why I think it's highly underrated, and why you should go out your way to watch the film despite its issues. You know what I mean? So that pretty much concludes my review of the X Plus 30cm Rip Boy edition of Hedger with the Light Up Eyes, courtesy of the cool classic kaiju fun film, Godzilla vs. Hedger or Godzilla vs. Smog Monster. So if you have any questions, holler me down in the comments section or hit me up on Facebook, Be Mark Calloway. We'll definitely go from there. Thank you so much for watching. You know what I mean? This has really been fun. I really have been enjoying these reviews, you know, whatever. And yes, I'm glad I finally got my hands on this figure. It's really, really awesome. And if you get a chance to get your hands on this figure, um, don't go overboard with the investment. But if it comes up for a issue at some point at, a, at, at an affordable price, or if you can find one online for an affordable price right now, please do not hesitate to get your hands on this awesome figure, the 30 centimeter Rip Boy X Plus Hedra. All right? I thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see y'all again on the next figure and move review. All right? Y'all take it easy. Oh. Oh. Oh.